so i'm going to i'm going to uh input my pin my pin and my student id i'm going to input my student id then the time the session uh, the student class rather then i'm going to click on check results and as you can see boom it shows this is awesome now automatically your grade will be added based on the percentage you don't worry about the grading don't worry about the stress now both the teachers comments will be added um percentage overall grade overall teachers comment overall using not amazing enough this is great you can add as many subjects as you want this is just a test our mathematics and our english hello welcome to my smart result management system it's a system that can solve anything related to result management um, or student management hospital management anything related management you can easily solve it with this solution okay without waste of time let me log in as an admin add a new result print my um, add a new pin because it also supports pin so let me log in as an admin i'm logging in as an admin to um, either create a teacher either teacher student anybody you would like to create on the platform so let me log in my temporary details here now i'm logged in as an admin so what can the admin do admin can have so many things register students have subjects add classes had departments had declare results so let's start with the students currently we have zero data everything is zero 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 so as we have zero there will be an issue so we need to create something so the first thing i'm going to do is to add a new student i'm going to add a new student so let me add a new student student name is um Chooks. Chooks. Okay, no. yes student email so it can be anything let me give it truth okay no yes at gmail.com then department oh we need to create a department that's what i'm saying okay so let's head down to the department section and add a new subject then department so let me add a temporary um, subject let's see okay so i'll be adding math so let me add math submit mathematics has been added let me add english i'm um, sorry i'm using a lower case so i will add english 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 has been added let me add um crs okay let me add one more let me add um okay let me add uh high rs anything okay i have it has been added so i will go to manage subject now so here i have about four subjects which is crs english rrs mathematics and they are all in alphabetical order that's why it's been split okay so this subject has been created and it can also be edited you click on this edit you you see it's fantastic so you can edit or delete any subject you created now after the subject has been created the next thing we have to do is to um navigate down to the subject combination area so i'm going to click hard subject combination now in order to use subject combination i still need department so i need to go back again and create a department so i'm going to add a new student department so what department am i creating we can create multiple departments either of science arts um commercial any of them any of the departments you like so i'm going to be creating science you know i love science a lot so let me do that as the first thing so my science has been created let me create for heart okay art has been created also so that will, let's go back to money department also in the department section you can easily modify everything you can edit the department you can delete the departments let me show you now i have click on the department edition and it's actually work so let me go back to my department now the next thing we have to do now is to go back to where we are coming from the manage subject combination so let me click on it and select the department so i'll be clicking on science so what are science department doing what are they doing okay they are operating on math they work on math they work on english they don't do hrs they don't do crs okay so after doing that i'm going to click the combination and it says combination has been added successfully let me check my combination at the moment i have english i have mass in my combination this combination can be modified also you can take it off you can um, you can delete the entire combination and it can be modified 
Okay, so let me add a new subject combination. So that will be adding art. So hat works on CRS. I will use control to hold on my uh, I will hold I will control down my keyboard, then I will use the cursor to click more for more. Now after I'm done with that, I'm going to add the combination. That's for hat. So hat has been created also. So once our subject has been added and our combination has been added, the next thing is to go back to the student and add a new student. So I'm going to click student, add student. I'm going to um, select the student image. One student image I've selected the student name. So Chooks, sorry, Chooks Okweno. Okay, yeah, got that. So Chooks, Chooks Okweno. Uh, okay, Chooks Okweno. I think I'm correct. Good. At gmail.com. So you input the student email, select the department. So Chooks Okweno is science. Is a is a male class? Oh, we have a great class. <laughs> okay, let's go back again and create a class that skip my mind. Okay, create class at the moment. We don't have any class, so I'm going to be creating um, SS1. Okay, so I'm going to be writing SS1 for this. SS1 submit good. My SS1 has been created. Um, SS2. So you can add as many as you want. So let me don't waste much of our time. Let me go back to the class. Also, the class can be modified. You can delete it and make updates to it. So let's go back to the student creation. I hope this time there won't be any mess up. Okay. So I'll select the picture. Select the picture this time around. I'm, I'm going to make this faster. So chooks, so quino. Yeah. Student email chooks, chooks, so quino at gmail at gmail.com okay so chooksukun at gmail.com academic year has been automatically selected department science okay let me pick science for him and the class that he is is ss1 dob so you set the dob to the year the person is beginning giving birth so that is date of birth in case you don't know is date of birth so account password in case the students will like to log in to the portal in the future so in the future uh, there will be student portal that you can also purchase from the website very soon to be uploaded but currently this for the result management okay so the account password so let's give it an admin after doing that then we had a student now it says successfully student will be added okay so let's go about money okay so we click on manage students manage students as you can see the user that i created just now chukso kwenu with an id of 52698414 now this student id must be kept by the students so let me copy it on my clipboard now i've, I've copied that on my clipboard now as you see this data everything can be modified you can easily change it act edit the action delete the student Okay, so once you are done with that, the next thing we have to do is to go to the result itself. Now we had a new result because at the moment we don't have any result on my table. So I'm going to be selecting SS1, which is the one I created just now. SS1, I'm going to be picking my student and I can search a student over here. So I'm going to be selecting the available student that I've created on uh, on the portal. So once I select it, it, the system will tell me, okay, this user can be added. Can, a new user can be added to it. Now the current stem that we're going to select now. So I'm going to select first stem. Now my stem has been selected. Numbers this school open. So I'm going to use one one hit. Uh, numbers of this present one one four. Numbers of this absent. So <laughs> it's so easy as that. You don't have any stress to. You don't have any stress over it. So that has been selected. And based on the department of the student, which is science, any subject related under that department. Will be out we will output it on on the subject on the subject on the subject area and how this subject can be modified also just as you can modify the rest of the name and the data so any any department that the user is will be the corresponding to the um to the combination of the subjects so that's it so here we have the continue assessment for mathematics so i'm going to say okay the user scored 30 over 40 Continue and this one's for the exam, so it's called 50 over over um 60. So here is called 20 over 40. So let's give it 60 60 over here. So here is called 60 60. So I'm going to save the results now. My result has been saved. 
okay now let's manage the results so we'll click on results and here you are going to see what you publish so far the student name the department the class the year the term status administrators and the created it now if any teacher had any results it is compulsory it is mandatory by the system for the had me to approve it without the approval the student won't be able to check it now let's test what i'm trying to tell you so if i click on students now money students and i copy the student id so the student id has been copied then i go back to my result pin and also copy the result pin now this pin can be generated you can generate let me generate a new version of it now as you can see i generate another one so you can easily generate this pin and sell it to your students so i copy the pin after copying the pin then i will log out and make a test now don't forget this result is not approved yet by the admin i, I haven't approved it so let me try to um use it and see if it's going to be visible to us so after adding the pin then the student id the year of exam the first time you are good and ss1 so i'll click on check result at the moment it says results not yet active because the admin hasn't approved it it has been submitted but admin has not approved the results so let's go back to the back to results then we we'll log in as an admin the result must be approved else is not going to show so i'll log in as admin then i'm going to approve the user results so once i approve the user results automatically the user will be able to um check his or her results anywhere in the world anywhere at all okay so at the moment as you can see it says review and the admin status was pending because i'm still reviewing it so i'll click on edit now and make it live now it's not live let me update it update now the result has been updated and everything can be edited both the result and mark okay so it's live now now as you can see it says live reviewed it has been reviewed already so once it's been reviewed live the edit time the edit count will be counted now i've edited it three times now once that is done you view it as admin you can easily view without any restriction so this admin view now let me now log out from the admin so let me click on log out and check it as a student let's see if it's going to work so i'm going to i'm going to uh input my pin my pin and my student id i'm going to input my student id then the time the session uh, the student class rather then i'm going to click on check results and as you can see boom it shows this is awesome now automatically your grade will be added based on the percentage you don't worry about the grading don't worry about the stress now both the teachers comments will be added um percentage overall grade overall teachers comment overall using not amazing enough this is great you can add as many subjects as you want this is just a test our mathematics and our english so i will really advise you to go for this product it will really help your business help your school help your management okay so with the token of our month i'm selling this i'm selling this product so head down to biggedroid.com and make a purchase of it get your own version launch it on your server so let me show you where this is it so get your own version launch it on your server and boom you are there so thank you so much for purchasing the products thank you thank you thank you love you okay see you in my next product